Today I want to talk about the continuation of the door access system installation diagram that I did mention about the fire alarm relay. So this is the relay with the base that I, we have been using. From this picture you can see that we want to mention about the 24 volt DC relay is because majority of the fire alarm system when it triggers it will actually send a power of 24 volt DC output to a relay that you are supposed to install. So therefore we need this specification for the fire alarm purpose and here there's another type 12 volt DC relay. This is mainly for us to use it on the door access purpose like interlocking and some other purposes that you may want to use this. This is the 24 volt DC relay that we are going to show in this video that how are you going to use this to connect the power output from the fire alarm when it triggers and to cut off the EM lock in order to release the door. So yeah, this is a detailed view of the relay. As you can see from here, there's a bottom view and this is the actual relay, the bottom view of it. This is a front view and this is the picture of the base. So basically, this relay will be plugged into the base and we can connect the cables through the screw connector. Okay, let me explain what does this number means here. There's 15948. 12. This is what we call two-pole relay. It works the same way for the left and for the right. The 13 and 14 is your power input. So for instance, I mentioned about the 24 volt DC and also the 12 volt DC when you connect them on the 13 and 14. So if there is no power to this relay, the connector of 1 and 9 is always connected. It means that the connector of 4 and 12 is always connected when there is no power. So what does it mean? 1, 9 and 4, 12 is normally closed. All right? So when power input provide to the relay, the 5 and 9 will be connected as well as the 8 and 12 will be connected. In other words, the 8 and 12, 5 and 9, they are called normally open. Until you have a power input, then the 5 and 9 will be connected. At the same time, 1 and 9 will be released by using the 13, 14 power input and to make use of the 1, 5, 9, and 4, 8, 12 here. I'm going to give a video of how we will connect the power input of 24 volt DC and the EM lock will be connected to the 412 and 19 here for two doors for instance or for two EM locks for a two lift door so we will be using two pole here this is a simulation of the entire fire alarm system to trigger the relay. This is the relay. And it will release the two pieces of EM lock. Yeah. The video here is that uh, these are the two um, 12 volt adapter that is going to power up the 12 volt um, bulk here which we assume this the EM lock yeah and whereby this one is a 24 volt DC adapter which will then power up the relay the 13 and 14 so when you look properly to the details this will be the 14 on the left and 13 on the right 14 will be positive and 13 will be the negative of the power and this is the relay of 24 volt DC relay yeah? 
Okay, let me do a simulation here that uh, this is the light bulb, all right? That it connects to the power adapter. And this is a relay. So this is the diagram of the relay that earlier on I have explained that the one and nine is constantly connected. This is what we call normally close, yeah? So when there's even no power supply to the 13, 14 here. So therefore, we are going to make use of this cable and get into the one and nine afterwards. So let me just power up the EM lock, for instance. This is the EM lock, all right? So I'm going to take out this cable and then we'll connect to one and nine. And it will instantly get the power from the adapter and this EM lock is for forever functioning, all right? Okay, from here, I'm making a series of the power from here, going through the relay at the terminal one, yeah, terminal one, okay, and also at the terminal nine, this is the terminal nine, and making a loop to the light bulb here, which is uh, the EM lock, for instance, and it will go back to the negative, all right? So without connecting anything to the 13, 14 over here, 13, 14, this light bulb or the EM lock will forever or constantly getting the power and being lighted up. All right, so I'm making a series now. It means to say that when in the normal circumstances, the EM lock is working, it will release when the fire alarm triggers and send the power to the 13, 14, and the terminal one and nine will be disconnected. It's actually connecting the five and nine terminals. So now I'm gonna connect the 13 and 14 now, and I'm gonna power up the 13, 14 in order to release the EM lock, means to say that the light bulb will not have power. Okay, as I have uh, connected the power input to the terminal 14 and 13, yeah, positive to the 14, negative for the 13, yeah, this is bottom view, so it's actually reverse direction. So now, for example, this is the power when it triggers from the fire alarm. And as you can hear, or you see the light, the, the relay is actually working now. What does it mean? It will release the 1 and 9, but connect the 5 and 9. So let me just power off and you can hear the click sound. Yeah. So assuming now there is a power, sorry, there is a fire alarm trigger the relay. You hear the tick sound and now the one and five is released. Okay, so let's try to turn off the fire alarm. Okay, and we power up the light bulb which is the EM lock. Okay, so the EM lock is working now for example. So when come to any fire incident, the fire alarm will trigger the relay by sending out a 24 volt DC power to the relay and the EM lock will release immediately. Right, so you can see, as you can see the light bulb is turned off. So which means that the EM lock is now released when it come to any uh, fire alarm incident. Yeah. So this is how it works and this is explanation of the 159, same goes to the 4812, 1314 is the power input. And bear in mind that this is a 24 volt DC relay 
and uh, majority of the fire, fire alarm system is to provide the 24 volt DC when it comes to any fire incident okay so I just repeat when there's no power from the fire alarm all right the EM lock is working fine but when the moment there is any fire incident and the fire alarm trigger the relay and the EM lock will be released so that's all for today okay so if you have any questions you probably can uh, leave comments down below thank you